Um, but the scope of the employee's action right now is institutionally limited. The best thing an employee can do is do it best to find a way to become an entrepreneur. Um, I mean, if they're in an environment where they can't make an honest contribution. Yes? So I have a question. I, I work for a nonprofit and we get a lot of funding from these. So I was just wondering how would they incorporate it in their company? I mean, what's wrong with it being a separate entity and not having to be funded? How would you suggest they do it otherwise? Okay, you're talking then about corporate social responsibility in. Re in regards to like giving out grants right. to, well, um, I don't have any problem with that as such. I have a problem in, in limiting carita caritas to that because then it becomes that highly abused English word, charity. Now I've used Caritas, uh, I haven't given it its English translation, which is charity, because that's, such, that's almost a degraded word um, in English. It means pretty much like writing a check, you know, um, to a worthy cause or something like that, rather than the full meaning of love, which it has. Charity is part of caritas, but it's not limited to, to, to just that kind of charity. Still, the corporation needs to do that. I'm just saying that should not be the whole definition of caritas for the corporation. Uh, all of these other things we talked about are of primary importance. And frankly, if business operated that way, they'd need to give fewer grants. <laughs> uh, because a lot of the things they're granting is for, uh, to clean up conditions which they created. <laughs> Yes, Steve. So I want to follow up on what this lady was talking about and ask you to speak at oddly enough about <coughs> consumer responsibility. Oh yes, very good. It seems to me that um, <coughs> shopping for the lowest price is to be seduced, not to be not to have my customer earn. I'll start with that. Somebody has to earn my customer. They don't earn my custom by seducing me with the lowest price. But how should they earn my custom? And how should I respond yeah. to uh, corporations or business enterprises which are seeking to earn my custom? Well, this is this is so very good. We've had um, the um, we've talked about the responsibility of firms and employers. We've talked about the responsibility of employees. Uh, and here's the third thing: the uh, consumer's responsibility. Um, and of course, uh, buying low is just inbuilt into the human commercial heart. You know, we all love a bargain. Um, the, um, but that bargain presu presumes a certain environment of fairness where everybody's competing on the same level. When the economy is distorted, then they're not competing on the same level. And so companies uh, which can outsource work, and I would say that outsourcing of work itself depends on government subsidies, by the way. Uh, to take the case of Walmart. Um, first place, if the Chinese currency were properly valued, um, most of the Walmart advantage would go away. But also Walmart in, depends on a subsidized road network. Okay, If there were weight and distance tolls um, on the uh, highways, the Walmart distribution model would simply break down. However, that's another set of issues. The question here is though, how does a, a person who's just trying to get the best price know these things? What is the consumer's responsibility? Um, we usually thought our just low price and just be smart shoppers was our responsibility. But 
I guess what I tell my students is, look on the labels of your clothing and try to find out something about the people who make these products. How do they live? Because you would want them to buy stuff from you at a price that would support you at a certain level of dignity. But if you turn around and buy products from them at a price which is exploitative, which, resolve, which really depends on a condition that is a little worse than slavery, then what kind of gift are you giving? And it's very, very difficult to get the consumer to understand that responsibility, especially when his own wages are being depressed and he needs that lower price. And we get ourselves into a vicious circle that is not easy to recover from, even where we have the knowledge. So, yes, ma'am. Oh. What would you Yeah. You see, uh, not individually. Um, I mean, because it's not a matter of calculation, it's a matter of judgment. Um, the, the just price theories of the Middle Ages were rooted in everybody involved in production having what they called a, a certain station in life. Okay? And the station in life, the, the products, had to be of sufficient price to support each level of production at its station in life, um, but no higher. Um, but this was a social determination. And in Aquinas and in all of the scholastics, it's what's called by common estimation which allowed a role for the market, but did not make the markets superior. Um, there was a role for legal price, a, 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 a role for legal prices. There was a, a role for corporate entities such as guild uh, controlling prices and quality. Um, but it's, it's, it's not an individual thing. That is not something that you can do by yourself. Um, because price is always a, a sort of a corporate judgment. I mean, I don't mean corporate by the corporation, but I mean the corporation of the community, in a sense, judge prices. Yeah. Yes, sir. Question for you. If you are, we'll be looking in a crystal ball, and assuming that uh, most of the people don't hear what you say, don't know about Caritas and Veritas, and that we just continue on the way we are going. Mm -hmm. Where are we going? Oh, well, we're not going to continue on the way we're going. In my opinion, uh, I think we're institutionally, we've wrung the system out. We can't go any further down this path. Now, some people say, well, that makes you a pessimist. Well, I don't think so. For example, I think it would have been much better. I mean, it was true, they said, if we didn't bail out the banks, they would have collapsed. And I say, if they didn't bail out the banks, yes, they would have collapsed. That's what they should have done. <laughs> and then we could have built a new financial system, a more rational, a more economic, and on more Christian principles. Um, I think the same thing is about to happen to every area of the economy. And then we have to rebuild it. Um, American institutions are co going to collapse very shortly. Um, I'm not talking about the 50-year time frame we always talk about. I'm talking about the next five years. Um, it's up to us as to whether that's a disaster or an opportunity. Like I say, we have the responsibility of building the world. Um, but I don't think these institutions will carry us much further. <laughs>